this is stinking good. Today is the day we've been waiting for. We're about to go eat some delicious Polish food, and I'm hungry. Let's go. We are headed over to go get some pierogies. If you don't know what that is, it is this dumpling filled with cheese or meat. Sometimes it's sweet. You can get it however you want, sweet or savory. Everything looks so good. What are you gonna get? I don't know. Look at all these flavor of dumplings. Potato, cabbage, meat. Mexican, that looks interesting. What will it be? Look how delicious these look. We went with the Mexican ones. Couldn't help myself. That's probably not the most traditional, but it's not the best. They're filled with minced meat, tomatoes, um, sauce, corn, and this dumpling is so delicious. I'm gonna be craving this after we leave Poland. That's the problem. Maybe I'm not gonna be able to find it. Kind of reminds me of like a like a slimy taco. I mean, it's really good. It's just like the texture. It's like kind of slippery and doughy, and but it has a flavor of a taco, like hot taco grease meat. My my, my mouth. I like it. I dig it for real. It's hot and slimy. All right, we've got the Zurich soup. It's a traditional Polish soup. It's also kind of called the Hunter stew, and it's sausage, egg, potatoes. It's kind of soury, kind of rye, and um, man, it's super good. I can eat a soup in the hot or the cold. It doesn't matter. This soup is fantastic. The problem with Krakow is that Everywhere you, you turn, there's a delicious bakery or kebab place or restaurant just staring you right in the face saying, come and eat me. Well, what do you think? <laughs> Harder than I thought. <laughs> the lady ditched me to go shop around, so I'm gonna get a coffee and some snacks. Do a little shopping. You ready for a snack? Let's go. Look at this donut. I got blueberry and cottage cheese filling. So let's try. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so good. Cottage cheese and blueberry. I couldn't live here. Oh, I gained so much weight. This is stinking good. This might be the best donut I've had here. And maybe like ever. Shoot. It is good. Did that over exaggerate? No. Can I have the rest? Yeah. You can have a few bites. This is worth every bite. Oh, you know what? It's good. Do you want any more of this? I would say that that blueberry donut and cottage cheese was alone worth the trip to, to Poland. So, if you're thinking about going to Poland, it's probably worth it just to eat that stinking donut. It's dinner time. We're gonna go get some Polish pizza. So 
we came to this place. It's called Judah Food Market. And we got Polish pizza. Which I read online that's Polish pizza, but we used to make this at home as kids. It's pizza on a baguette, and it looks really good. This one's interesting. It has pickles. Pickles, bacon, and garlic sauce. So I haven't had that combination before. It's gonna be messy, I can tell. I'm not really a pickle fan, but I like it right here. You're gonna love it, you love pickles. I'm hungry, this looks right up my alley. Reminds me of like garlic bread, mm -hmm. kind of cook in the oven. With all the fixings? Yeah. Yeah, with like meat and cheese and all kind of stuff. It's good. The bread is so it good is. and fluffy. I'd recommend if you're coming here to get this that you would just get one and split between two two people because it's huge. This is more than enough. with nuts single scoop pretty good I don't know if it's worth like waiting outside all day in line for it, but a five minute wait is good it's not too sweet really milky so to me the ice cream is not as creamy as most ice cream it's a little bit wet and watery I to get it again I, <laughs> I can get it get again <laughs> I would get it again We've come to the end of the day and our bellies are full. It was fun, we ate a bunch of good food, ended it on some ice cream, so I'm happy. Until next time, we'll see you later.